Hello everyone, it's the Venom Xenomorph, and welcome to a brand new Alien News episode. Note, I did not say Cold Iron. This is not a Cold Iron video game news update. If you're here for that, I'm sorry. There hasn't really been much of an update ever since the job postings a few weeks ago, um, which I'm pretty sure I covered in my last video, but I'm not sure. But anyway, this is a just Alien video, because we got this covered, uh, like the news website, we got this covered, uh, .com, just posted... Um, a article talking about Disney rebooting the Alien franchise and Ridley Scott's production. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna read the article from here. It'll be right on your screen. Uh, but the Alien franchise is in a mess. Despite being some of the best science fiction horror films of all time and featuring all the iconics or the said that sorry the all time iconic movie monster, the series mythology has disappeared up in up its own arse. Alright, first off, I can tell that this is a European article, um, and second, uh, I disagree, not because, not because of, um, the out-of-the-box situation, like, I agree with that, um, the, the beauty of the Xenomorph was it was shrouded in mystery, nobody knew what it was or where it came from or anything like that. Once we figured that out, it kind of made no sense. As like, for example, we still don't have an answer to why it's on LV four two six or where LV four two six fits in on the Prometheus Covenant uh, footing. But um, the rot arguably began way back in 1992's Alien Three. <laughs> I'm looking at you, uh, Stoner Yoda, for that comment about the uh, whole insulting Alien Three. I'm not alone on this. With with each subsequent film getting a little worse. Then came Prometheus and Alien Covenant. Both films I liked. Like, th this is my input. Both films I liked. Which threw in a load of confusing and portent or portentous pseudo-philosophy into the creature's origin story. Audiences were nonplussed, resulting in Covenant flopping and the franchise being on ice ever since. I agree with that. I feel like, like, I loved... Prometheus and Covenant. I loved Covenant because it had the Xenomorph, and Prometheus because it gave a decent background check to the engineers. Um, I feel bad that it flopped, but this is the good. This is the good news. Now Disney, having purchased the Alien IP as part of their merger with Fox, plans to perform an Alien re an Alien Resurrection. No pun intended. It looks like. We're hearing for uh, we're hearing from our sources the same ones who revealed that an Aladdin sequel was, was happening. Which, by the way, I don't think I know that there was the whole straight to home video thing, um, like the return of Jafar and what what was it, King of Thieves? That was the next one, Prince of Thieves or something like that, right? Um, those are both sequels to each other. I didn't I didn't think they were necessary i thought the first movie was good and this new remake sucked i i didn't like it at all um i liked that they added twists to the characters to try and make it feel fresher but at the same time i didn't like it um and i seriously don't see why that movie needs a sequel um anyway the same ones who revealed that an aladdin sequel was happening which was confirmed this week so by the way just saying that this is a, uh, what's it called, citable source, um, that they're poised to reboot several high-profile franchises that they acquired in the Fox deal, with Alien being the biggest. First off, I'd just like to... Hang on. Just, it's a really bad clap, because I'm like reading this on my phone while I'm recording this. Uh, but... The, just bravo to these guys. They know how important Alien is. Uh, so it's fair to say that it's, it's the biggest brand of the Fox merger. Um, so what could this new version of the property consist of? Well, the obvious route would be to start off with basics and do a loose remake of 1979's Alien. I disagree. I completely disagree, but I'm happy that the article disagrees as well right here. Thing is, that film is such a classic and it's... It, blah, is such a classic and it's excellent production design and practical effects mean it hasn't aged poorly. Perhaps the best thing to do then might be uh, might be to pull the same trick that Blumhouse did with Halloween and make a sequel to the first film that discounts everything that followed. I agree to disagree. Not not because not because I think that's a bad idea. I think that's a really good idea. But at the same time I also feel like 
Aliens was extremely good, and everybody loved the Queen. Everybody loved the Xenomorph Queen. Heck, I love the Xenomorph Queen. Um, James, James Cameron was a visionary with that. That being said, um, anything past Aliens, Alien 3, Alien Resurrection, Prometheus, and Covenant, none of those should exist. It, it should go Alien, Aliens, and then the reboot movies. Uh, because I personally loved Halloween 2018. I thought it was a really good movie. Um, I just feel like there was there's also some wiggle room. Um, like, for example, there's no reason, personally, for me to have two more Halloween movies. Which, by the way, that was also confirmed by Universal that they're making two more. Um, but I, I feel like... Um, Alien deserves that kind of treatment as well. A, a soft reboot to treat itself to, you know, a really good version of Alien. Uh, redeem itself since Alien 3, you know? Um, it's a tactic that lets Disney claim that they're respecting the history of the franchise while giving them a blank sheet to go forward with. Plus, they'd have Ellen Rip. Oh, okay. So, uh, that last sentence. Plus, they'd have Ellen Ripley floating around in, cl in cryosleep somewhere in the universe... Once again, that's another detail as to why I think, personally, aliens should stay in the lore. Because then if they make, like, you know, if they make um, a new Alien 3 that's better, that, you know, it would be so cool because everybody's older now. If it followed up from aliens with, uh, what's his name? Hicks and Newt, both older like newt is like an adult ac actress now i think since then she's been an adult actress so it'd be really nice to have her um and ripley and hicks are together bishop could probably make a make a cameo as like a worn down old synthetic um kind of similar to what they did with alien 3 except alien 3 was like he was destroyed because of the crash um but i feel like i feel like that would be so cool just personally um one thing we've also heard is that Rid Ridley Scott may oversee the reboot as a producer. After his last two Alien movies, Disney might have cold feet about giving him much input into the script and plotting, but Scott's a master of production design and atmosphere. We also know that Disney isn't planning to sand the edges off the franchise with CGO Bob Iger committed to remain, uh, or maintaining an R rating. Just... Quick round of applause for Bob Iger uh, being committed about keeping Alien at its roots with that rated hard R rating. It might be a while before we get any concrete news on the studio's plans, but I'm cautiously excited to see what they'll turn out. Whatever the case, it'll be nice to watch an Alien movie that doesn't require a dozen Wikipedia pages to understand what happened. That I I actually agree with that last part because. Um, I say that I like Prometheus and Alien Covenant, but I'm also one of the people that didn't quite understand the story. So I literally spent like two hours after both movies looking up the like the scenes that I just watched and trying to figure out what happened. So yeah, I just felt like I, sh I should share that with you guys because Alien movies have been on the decline lately. Uh, and I don't mean Alien movies like Alien. Specifically, I mean alien movies in general. I mean Alien, Predator, Independence Day, Resurgence was a little bit of a flop. Um, there were a lot of movies. AVP, Alien vs. Predator. Perfect example of something that went totally wrong for alien movies. I feel like Alien vs. Predator was the start of the decline. Because there were all those Predator movies coming out. Predator 1, Predator 2, Predator 3. Like, like it was... They, Predator was having fun, man. And then Alien vs. Predator came out. And Predator kind of just died at its own feet. And then the the 2018 Predator movie came out. And I think that just... Uh, I, th I think that put the plasma blast straight into the Predator school. Uh, pun intended there. Um, I feel like this is a breath of fresh air for the Alien universe with Disney. Um... The Cold Iron Game is underneath Fox's input with a representative of Disney watching over it. 
um, who used to be able to, or who used to be in charge of the communication between Disney's Marvel department and Sony for the Spider-Man video game. So I'm just saying the Cold Iron game has good hope, but these movies, these upcoming Alien movies, whatever they're going to be, sound like they're going to be good. Hopefully they're a reboot after Aliens. Um, a reboot after Alien 1 would be good. I just also feel like Aliens was such a classic as well. People have people remember so many more lines from Aliens than they do with Alien. I hear a lot more Game Over Man than I do um, I Admire Its Purity. You know what I mean? Like it, there, Aliens was much more memorable in that circumstance. Uh, so I feel like if they are going to reboot the series, reboot it right. Do it after Aliens, not before. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I know that I, I can't believe it's 11 minutes long already. Like, just me ranting about an alien movie. Uh, rumor, too. Uh, this hasn't been confirmed, but I feel like it's been confirmed because it's been announced by the same people who are, you know, working on that freaking uh, Aladdin sequel. Mm. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe down below, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Come, 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 come along now. Also, apparently, Robocop Returns was a thing. Don't expect news on that mess. Run away from the home drum. We'll go to a place that is safe from.